Are you a CapCut editor who finally convinced mommy to get you After Effects? And as you're launching the app for the first time, imagining all the world-changing edits you're gonna make until you have absolutely no idea what is what or how to add an effect. You start to panic and doubt your decisions. It's even gotten to the point where you just want to refund your Adobe Cloud subscription and run back to mommy CapCut. Don't worry, no need for all of that, because today I am going to show you how to get around After Effects for the first time as a total beginner. Today you will learn how to get around the software, how to import, cut up, and rescale videos. You will learn how to add and adjust effects. You will also learn how to use presets. You will learn how to add text. And last but not least, you will learn how to make 4K quality on your videos. By the end of this video, you will know all the basics so you can make your first edit without having to watch every single one of RDYLT's videos. Now enough yapping and let's cook Jesse. Once you have opened up After Effects and clicked on New Project, you will be welcomed to a screen like this. Click on New Composition so you can adjust the format of how your edit will look. Go ahead and copy yours to look like mine. This is the TikTok format which you see all over your FYP. It would be best to have your frame rate to match you scene pack's frame rate, so it will be the most smooth, but if you do not know what it is right now, then your safe spot will be 23.976. I like to put my duration of the composition to about the same length as the scene pack, so I can cut up all the clips comfortably. We can always change these settings later, so by the time I'm done with my edit, I will change the length from 12 minutes to however long my edit ends up being. Once you are done, click OK, and just like that you have your edit project ready so we can start cooking. Our next step is to import our scene pack. If you don't know where to get your scene packs from, I would recommend finding scene packs from Instagram or from my editing YouTube channel, which I have made a fair variety of scene packs of characters from multiple fandoms. So if you are a beginner and don't know where to find your clips, then feel free to download my scene packs. Once you have your scene pack downloaded, drop it into your edit as I do here. Now, as you see, my scene pack is pretty zoomed in here, so I am going to adjust it by clicking S on my keyboard to see this scale tab. But holding and dragging it up or down, I can increase and decrease on how big this scene pack looks. For now, I'm going to make it so I can see the whole scene pack and can cut up the scenes I want. As you see these other keyboard shortcuts shown on screen, which you can use to adjust, your clip easily is shown on screen. Now you can see I can't really go through my scene pack since it's so zoomed out. If you drag this bar up here, it makes your little showing thingy more smaller, making it easier to find good clips to use from your scene pack. Now begin to go through your scene pack and find clips you'd like to use for your edit. To cut a clip, you can click Control plus Shift plus D. What the hell? Why did it just make a new layer and why can't I drop it back onto the same layer? Honestly, I have no idea, but that's just how After Effects works. Now from here, you can cut up all of your clips just like I do and delete the extra scraps by using the backspace or the delete button. So to align these next to each other later, we are gonna have to use the stair clip alignment strategy, like as I do here. Now I am going to align these clips again so they fit the screen. Now we want to pre-compose each clip one by one. What's the point of this, you may ask? It just makes your clips flow faster and better without any problems later on. Now if I go to the side here and go to the Effects and Presets panel, you will see all your effects and your presets. Presets are just effect settings that you saved as a shortcut, so you can easily apply it onto your edit. I am not going to cover the basic effects to add to your clips, since I have other videos showing that in detail, which you can watch after this video. I'm going to add my directional blur preset, which you can also make following the video card above. I just muted the clips so we don't hear some random goofy audio in the background. Now I am going to show you how to make some text. Click Control shift t and you made a text layer. Type in whatever you want the text to be, and you will see it pop up. You can resize and adjust your clips by clicking the same shortcuts from earlier. But the text will probably look super plan and dry, so let's fix that. Now I am going to add one of my text presets to this, which I also won't be covering how to do in this video, but by clicking the card above, you can see how to make it too. Go to the side and go to the character panel, where you can change the font, color, and other things too. Now I am just copying and pasting the effects from my first clip to the rest by clicking E. To view the effects, 
Then I select all of them and click Control C to copy. And I go to the beginning of the next clip, and to paste it, I click Control P. And as you see, it's all pasted. Just so I make sure all the keyframes are in place, I click U to view them, and I select all of them. And by holding the last keyframe and the ALT button, I can stretch the keyframes to fit my clip length. As you see, I'm just repeating this with each clip. If you want this 4K quality, I have on the rest of my edits. Be sure to click the link in my bio so you can download my color corrections, which just makes your plan edit so much cleaner and have such better quality. Just like that, you have learned how to get around After Effects and you have an idea of how to get around the software. If you need extra and specific help, join my Discord server in bio where you can ask around and get editing advice and help for totally free. We also have a bunch of other editing tools there which you will find very helpful, and honestly I wish I had when I first started editing on After Effects. For more bolder and specific tutorials, go ahead and subscribe and check out other tutorials I made, and click the notifications button so you can get notified every time I